Brothers, the man Akira Toriyama is on the ride for the latest, new, upcoming Dragon Ball Super arc. Hey guys, we got a new message about the upcoming Dragon Ball Super arc from Tootaro. Let's take a look at it as translated by Herms. We've finally entered a new chapter. It is a completely new work that's not in the anime or anywhere else. Unlike Jacko, this mirrors guy in the first chapter is a genuine elite member of the Galactic Patrol. Just how strong is he really? Why has he come to Earth? And who is this criminal that he says has escaped? With the Galactic Patrol Prisoner arc, I'm teaming up with Toriyama Sensei and getting a lot of praise as I make it. I'm hoping to make it an enjoyable story that'll thrill you all, so please look forward to it. If you can't tell already, the major takeaway from this message is that Akira Toriyama will indeed be involved in this new arc. It was pretty much expected since he has been monitoring all DBS arcs, but still some people had doubts that maybe this one will be from Toriyama only, but now we have this relieving confirmation about Toriyama's involvement. So what does this mean for us? 1. The Canon some of the fans argue anything that doesn't have Toriyama involved can't be or isn't canon. I personally do not think that's necessarily the case given how huge Dragon Ball franchise has become and will continue to expand. Still, him monitoring this new Galactic Patrol prison arc means it has to be considered 100% purely canon by the entire Dragon Ball fan community, leaving no chance of arguments. And that's a good thing. 2. Better Story If we got anything by reading the Dragon Ball Super manga, it is that we can't yet trust Tootaro to handle a storyline or plot all by himself. Although the DBS manga main outlines came from Toriyama, Tootaro had his freedom and we can't really say he made the best use of it. His plot choices have not been best accepted by the Dragon Ball fan community to be said the least. Majority of the Dragon Ball fans disagrees with a lot of the manga, so if an arc was entirely his responsibility, without involvement or guidance from Akira Toriyama, it wouldn't likely get a positive fan reaction. So this news raises our hopes about the plotline of the upcoming arc because the original boss himself, Akira Toriyama, is on board. Three. Now, fans have been wondering if this arc will get an anime adaptation or not as the continuation of Dragon Ball Super has not been officially announced as of yet. Although we have many sources saying the anime announcement will be made real soon, maybe even within this month, but fans are still in a state of worry. Because movies are good and all, but Dragon Ball is best in its anime series format as it keeps us entertained all around the year. Past few years, we were able to talk Dragon Ball all around the year because we had Dragon Ball every week. And so, fans fear not getting that back as we have once went through a huge gap without any significant Dragon Ball content. So until it is officially announced, fans will be in doubt. However, now that Akira Toriyama is involved in this arc, it tells us even clearly that the arc is indeed important and it is yet another hint that it'll get adapted to the anime. I remember when Dragon Ball Super the anime was running, Tootaro said the manga will soon surpass the anime, but Super ended and it didn't happen. Now looks like this is what he was talking about. And note how he said it'll surpass, not that the manga will have an exclusive extra chapter. So yeah, it is almost granted that it is coming. 
About the Galactic Patrol arc, we know the Galactic Patrol takes Boo as Goku and Vegeta follows and finds even Jacko is there and they're trying to capture an escaped prisoner for which the Grand Kaioshin is required who is now within Boo. We even got a first look at this dangerous escaped prisoner. I already have a detailed video on the arc plot and about whom the prisoner could possibly be. If you haven't watched it yet, do check it out, I'll have it linked down below in the top comments. Guys look, I don't mean to annoy you by requesting to like my page on Facebook, but that's the only way my Dragon Ball Super contents will reach your newsfeed. If you want Facebook to show more of Dragon Ball and less of other stuff, then consider liking my page for video updates and also pages like Dragon Ball Fanverse for memes and all. See you in the next Dragon Ball Super video.